yeah, 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 you're right. But it's not about like how few people came out. It's about how many more people came out than before. Yeah. 40, Quadru- it, yeah. it turned out quadrupled. Yeah. And that's, I mean, that's almost incomprehensible to see turnout go up by three and a half times. Here's what I should have said. Yeah. What is this the result of? Is this the result of people being, yes, finally, ranked choice voting. Oh, my God. Or is it the result of, man, coronavirus is uh, keeping me locked down in my house. I'm bored. Oh, here's a mail-in ballot. Here's something to do. I don't think it's necessarily as much of a yay, no more ranked choice voting as much as it's a yay, no more caucuses. <laughs> um you know, obviously we talked about it a lot in our second episode and a lot of our episodes since, but the Iowa caucuses were not that successful. Um, there was a little bit of confusion. But what wouldn't have been uh, confusing is if those people had just written their choices down on a slip of paper and sent them all in like you had with Kansas. And so right. while the, the, the nice thing about ranked choice voting is while a lot of the people in Iowa and Kansas where caucuses are, are really big, they they really stress the importance of having the importance of having choices in your primary. That follows over, so you're not losing anything except for talking to people, which you can do outside of the caucus itself about politics. So the the one thing that is lost is talking to people right as you vote. But other than that, everything about it is the same. You have that same sense of being able to choose all the candidates you want in the order that you like them. And I um, honestly. I think that, sure, there's a benefit of being able to talk it out in, in the caucus forum. And mm-hmm. that's definitely something that statewide parties have to decide on for themselves. Yeah. But also, if you're really concerned about getting like voter turnout up for your primaries, mm-hmm. I have a feeling that getting all of like the insufferable political nerds and putting them in one room and forcing them to talk to each other <laughs> is not exactly a great way to generate turnout among people who might be more representative of the electorate. Yeah, let's say like, If you're someone working hard every day and you need, you know, to go out and do your job that day, taking an hour plus out of your day to talk to people about politics and then stand in a group of people, wait for your numbers to be counted, then move to another group of people. It's just not as sustainable of a system. People, people can't, people who don't have the time to do that can't do that. Yeah. And also there's people who frankly, number one, don't care and just don't want to like politics stresses some people out politics makes some people angry that's totally fair so there might be people who are like well i want the chance to uh you know have my voice heard and i want to take advantage of my constitutional rights and i want to support the democratic party because you know i like you know i i want joe biden to do well but also that might be the kind of person who is really 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 not so politically oriented and is just kind of there to vote and go on with their life so caucuses may definitely dissuade those people from showing up another thing is you do not have to rank every candidate on that list so i think there are about a thousand people that didn't rank uh someone that wasn't bernie or sanders so people that only voted for warren no one or gabbard or any combination of the three their ballot counts as a vote for no one which is still registered as a vote for no one, but like, that's the Honestly, thing. Honestly, that's a super important message. With ranked choice voting, it gives people a much more democratic share right. of who their candidate is. I know personally, I would have loved to rank choice vote. I think that- I think you would have just liked to vote. I mean, I, yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> the, the nice thing about ranked choice voting is that it gives you this whole opportunity to really choose whoever you want. And it doesn't take that much more effort than just a normal vote, but it takes so much less effort than a caucus for the same yes. result. It brings every state up to that same level of representation that the caucus has without having everyone to have to go through a caucus. And I think that's really important. And I think that could be the future of primary voting, especially, but also general election voting. I think seeing congressional elections and rate choice voting would be very interesting. I think you'd see a lot more third party candidates in Congress, which could really help change the entire situation. Yo, 